Hello and welcome. In previous lessons and demos of the Getting Started with Fluent course, you have seen that when you enter values in boundary conditions panels or other panels, like the materials panel, the cell zones panel and so on, a constant value is usually entered there. This works fine in many cases. However, there are also cases where it is necessary for boundary values, source terms, material properties, etc. to be non-uniform mathematical functions of space or time or where they depend on conditions in a different location or on other solution variables. Such inputs can be defined in ANSYS Fluent by using user-defined functions, UDF, and expressions which are located in the leftmost part of the user-defined group of the user-defined tab in the ANSYS Fluent ribbon. In this video lesson, you will learn what expressions are and how to implement them in your ANSYS Fluent simulation workflows for streamlining your process. UTFs are very powerful C or C++ routines which can extend the capabilities of ANSYS Fluent for specifying space, time or solution-dependent variables in cell zone, boundary condition and material properties panels and beyond that to impose special boundary conditions, employ new physical models, solve user-defined partial differential equations and much more. UDFs are complicated, have a steep learning curve and can be replaced by expressions in many use cases. More details on UDFs can be found in our other advanced courses. Expressions are based on the symbolic ANSYS Fluent expression language which is based on Python and enables you to specify complex boundary conditions and source terms with respect to time iteration number, position, and solution variables. Expressions can also be used for customizing or organizing your ANSYS Fluent workflows, for creating new variables for post-processing, in parametric workflows, and a lot more. ANSYS Fluent expression language can be easily understood and implemented within the user interface in a simple and intuitive way. This will be the focus of this lesson. In this video lesson, you will learn what named expressions are and how to implement them in your ANSYS Fluent simulation workflows for streamlining your process. Expressions can be used in any boundary condition, cell zone condition, material properties and other panels. In the example here, an expression is used for defining a velocity profile as a function of position at an inlet. Another example would be to use the mass-weighted average temperature at an outlet for setting the temperature at an inlet, like a recirculation loop. The third example would be to use an expression for converting a volumetric flow rate into a uniform inlet velocity value. Expressions have additional uses, for instance, in parametric workflows or for creating new variables for post-processing. In this lesson, we will focus on using expressions for assigning boundary and cell zone conditions. However, the procedure to create expressions for other situations is very similar. There are two ways that you can create expressions in ANSYS Fluent. The first way is by creating an expression directly in the field where it will be applied. The second is by creating a named expression which can be reused at multiple locations. We will discuss both of these approaches now. Suppose that at an inlet I want to define a parabolic two-dimensional profile of the fluid velocity depending on the x-coordinate. The analytic formula for this profile is 1 minus x divided by 0.5 squared. Applying such an analytic profile at an inlet is easy. All you have to do is open the boundary condition panel 
select expression from the velocity magnitude drop down and type in the expression using the ANSYS Fluent Expression language. An expression is a string with values, variables, mathematical functions and units. You will learn more about the basics of ANSYS Fluent Expression language later on in this video. Instead of typing the expression directly in the expression field box, I prefer to use the expression editor which opens if you click the function symbol next to the input field. You can see in the editor here there is more room to type and there are also context menus to help you choose functions and variables. As you see, while I am typing, the expressions editor features syntax highlighting. Up to this point, the expression input field is marked by an orange box, indicating that the expression is incomplete as can be seen here in the message field. As you will see later in this video, x here corresponds to a valid ANSYS fluent variable for the x-coordinate and has the dimensions of meters. As I enter one more parenthesis, you see a green highlight marking the pair of parentheses. Also notice that the expression input field is now marked by a red box indicating a syntax error in the expression. The error message says that the first part of the expression is dimensionless marked as a pair of opening and closing square brackets, while the second part has dimensions of meter enclosed in square brackets. This is a very useful hint as I can now correct this error by including the unit of meter here in the denominator. Doing so, the error message is replaced by another message that a unit of meter per second is expected here as this expression is entered for a velocity magnitude input field. I will now complete my expression by adding the desired exponent here and then enclose the expression in parentheses and multiply by 1 meter per second which will give me the correct dimension. As you see now, the typed expression is a valid expression as the error message is gone and the expression input field is no longer highlighted as red or orange. Clicking in the empty space of the panel, you see that the expression editor features a plotting capability. Here I will set the minimum and maximum values of the plot to minus 0.5 and 0.5 respectively and you see that the expression looks like the expected parabolic velocity profile, which is a good check. Let's now talk about the basics of the ANSYS Fluent Expression language. An expression is a string representing a combination of values, scientific constants, field variables, operators and mathematical functions. When an expression is evaluated, it returns a value. The value can have units, which is required in boundary and cell zone conditions. For instance, if you are using an expression to define temperature, the units must be Kelvin or Celsius or Fahrenheit or Rankin and you must enter the units explicitly. Expressions must use consistent units so, that means that, for instance, you cannot add total pressure and 1 cm, those are different units. However, you could add 1 atmosphere and 200 pascals because they are both units of pressure. Here is an example of an expression already entered in the expression editor. First, there is a value, 5.0, and then units, which are meters per second. This value is multiplied by the exponential function exp. In the argument of the exponential function, there is a lowercase t, which is an alias for the ANSYS fluent variable time. So, there is negative t for time, minus 0.3. For this to be valid, units of seconds must be defined or associated with 0.3. Then, this value is divided by 2.8, which is also assigned units of seconds, so that the argument of the exponential function is dimensionless. So, in the end, the expression 
as 5 meters per second multiplied by a dimensionless decaying exponential function. In other words, the overall units are meters per second and to use this expression, it must be applied in a field that expects velocity. If you already know the exact syntax of an expression, you can simply type the expression in the expression field. Alternatively, context menus are available for functions, variables, constants, other expressions and locations. Suppose that I would like to write the expression for the mass flow averaged value of static temperature at an outlet, but I'm not sure about the expression syntax. For this, I can go to Functions, Reduction and select Mass Flow Ave. See here that the function with a pre-populated syntax information is entered in the expression editor. The function requires two arguments, namely the variable to be averaged and the averaging location. With the first argument highlighted, I will go to the variables temperature and select static temperature or to keep the syntax simpler, I can go to alias and select uppercase T, which is the alias for static temperature. Next, I will highlight all what is in square brackets and will go to the locations, boundary, zone surfaces, and in the dialog box, we'll select outlet and click OK. Now the expression is completed. And as the expression input field is not marked as red or orange, this is a valid expression. So using the context menus in the expression editor, one may easily create a valid expression without having to know all the details of the syntax of the ANSYS fluent expression language. This was only a brief introduction to the basic principles of ANSYS fluent expression language and the basic functionality of the expression editor. More details can be found in the user's guide or in our other advanced courses. We have already seen how expressions can be entered directly in an input field or using the expression editor. You can also define what are known as named expressions by right-clicking named expressions in the outline view and selecting new. Named expressions have a name and a definition. Once created, they are listed in the outline tree and can be used for organizing and keeping in one place important inputs for boundary conditions and other input panels, helping you thus to systematize and streamline your CFD workflows in ANSYS Fluent. They can also be used for breaking a complex expression into several simpler parts and then combining them to create the expression. As an example, to define the expression seen previously for the exponentially decaying velocity, we could define first two named expressions one for the maximum velocity named Vmax, which has units of meters per second, and one for the dimensionless exponentially decaying function of time named exponential. You can then create an expression named Vprofile for the profile defined as Vmax multiplied by exponential. Expression Vprofile can then be selected in any boundary condition entry field with matching units by selecting it from the drop-down list in Boundary Conditions Panels and other input panels. In this video, you have learned the fundamental principles of the ANSYS Fluent Expression Language and how to use the Expression Editor for creating and checking your expressions. You have also learned what named expressions are, how to create them and how to use them for streamlining your CFD workflows in ANSYS Fluent. Thank you very much for watching.